we think. One week from today, we head to the polls to decide which candidates advance to the November general election ballot. Here with a few reminders on the process and what might be new this time around is Kansas Secretary of State Scott Schwab. We appreciate you being here. Thank you. Be here again. Thanks for having me. How have things been going so far leading into this primary? A lot quieter than normal. Yes. <laughs> so um, there's not as many contentious primaries across the state that we normally have. There's not the constitutional amendments we often have. And so voter turnout and engagement is a little bit less than normal. But outside of that, things are going incredibly smooth. And we're not having quite the misinformation attacks that we've dealt with in years past yet. When we talk about comparing, we were saying beforehand, you really can't compare this primary to two years ago in August. Correct. Because that is when we had the value of them both amendment. How is turnout running so far? So, so far this year, and I got notes, so I'm going to look at it. Forgive me for that. But it's uh, about 39,000 ballots cast so far with a week left. This time, two years ago, there was 95,000 ballots cast. So that shows the difference when there's it a hot is. button issue. And that when folks say, well, what do you do to drive voter turnout? Really, it's the issues and the candidates that do it. I would imagine the second congressional district, because there's a contested primary here for Congress, it'll have higher turnout. Whereas in some areas like Wichita does not have very many contested primaries, a lot of folks may not want to go out in the heat. We do have, exactly, District 2. Is that probably where you're going to expect to see some higher turnout, both Republican and Democratic side? Because there are primaries yes, on I both, would, both Yeah, that's what, that's what will drive it. And there's, there's definitely, um, the, the candidates are not alike. There are drastic differences in positions they've taken, and that drives voters out to, uh, to vote, whether it's social issues or economic issues. So, yeah, I, I would imagine the second's going to be significantly higher, especially on vote election day. We have hosted forums on both sides, and you're right. It's been interesting to get to hear from the candidates and hear their differences and similarities on some of the different views. One thing we want people to check this year, though, I, I would say would be on my vote info would be their state Senate district. This is the first time and there are some yes. changes there. Yes, there's a couple changes on the local level. You may want to go, you can go to um, kansasvotes.gov. And again, that's our website. Doesn't say .gov, not ours. And you can go down to the county and you can see your sa sample ballot and what district you're in because redistricting it four years ago does change who your state senator is going to be. And also some counties like Wichita significantly in in increased the number of polling pa places they had to reduce lines. So your polling place may have changed this time. So that's a good time to go check and make sure everything's in line for you to go vote on Tuesday if you're I've, doing it in person. And I have been seeing some, especially the Topeka area state senate districts, some, some differences people and the candidates have been talking about. Who can participate in this primary? If we're a registered voter, what's the second piece that we have to keep in mind in a primary? So if you're a registered voter, but you're an independent, you are registered, so you can affiliate with a party when you go to vote. And then, so if you want to engage in either the Democrat primary or Republican, all you have to do is say, I'm going to be a Republican for this election. Then later on after the general, you can unaffiliate if you want to. But you have to make a choice. You do have to make a choice. So in some places, I don't know of any place across the state that has a ballot measure on the ballot this time. So there probably won't be too many unaffiliated going out unless they want to engage in the primary. And we have been checking with our 17 surrounding counties that, that we focus on, and you're right, no ballot questions that we have seen. But you can't change your affiliation. No, you cannot. Polls. You cannot. You can, just, if you're unaffiliated, you can affiliate. Once you're affiliated, you're stuck till after the general. And that was a decision the legislature made years ago because people would party switch to engage in the other party's primaries and switch back, and both parties didn't want to do that. And so, and the other thing I would like to say that's really important, today's the last day to request your mail ballot. Please don't mail it. Please use the drop boxes or drop it off at a polling place because the mail has so many issues right now. I'm not confident it'll show up by Friday of next week. I was going to say, what is the rule? Because regardless, it needs to be postmarked, 7 be, p.m. Correct. election day, which is August right. 6th. Right, and then your ballot will be counted if it shows up at that clerk's office by Friday. But we're getting ballots still in counties that have been legally cast last year and two years ago because most of our mail leaves the state of Kansas and you're giving your ballot to the federal government that's not going to care about your ballot as much as your neighbors do and so use a secure drop box use any advance in person voting place or any election place in your county on Tuesday on election day. So you don't even have to go to your own polling place you on Tuesday. You don't have to. You can just go to, go to any. You can go to any. If you're at work and there's one closer, you can just drop it off there and they'll make sure it gets tabulated. Because slow postal service is not an acceptable excuse that, that the canvassers are going to take. They can't. It's the laws of the law. And it, it's frustrating. I call them USP. They're United States Postal. They're really lacking on the service side as of late. And so in the report this, this month, they even confirmed that. Very so hardworking men and women who are out they there. It's are, not all their it's fault. It's not. It's it is. There's a funding issue there. There's a training issue there. And there's just been cutbacks in the processing center, which just p 
but creates choke points across the nation. So deliver by hand is the advice. That's the advice. Treat it like cash. MyVoteInfo.VoteKS.org is where you can go get that sample ballot. That's another direct line to do so. We'll have the link online. Scott and Schwab. KansasVotes.gov. KansasVotes.gov. That is their site, too. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you, you being be here. here. You can hear how you can take steps in the fight against human trafficking next.